Today, I'm gonna to show you some of the best Pokemon card products to buy right now. The Sword and Shield era is over, and as we continue into the Scarlet and Violet era, some products will continue to increase in value as demand increases and supply diminishes. I've identified some products that I believe will increase in value in the near future, and I'm gonna share those with you today. So if you wanna add some nice Pokemon card investments to your collection, this video's for you. All right, we're gonna start today's list off super strong here. We're gonna talk about V-Star Universe booster boxes. This is a very similar situation to what happened with Tag Team GX All-Stars. So almost exactly three years ago, I was buying Tag Team GX All-Stars boxes for 50 or $60 all day long. They really printed a lot of that set towards the end especially, but even so, that set was so popular that it started to skyrocket as soon as the Sword and Shield era began to kick in. I don't think anyone realized how fast that set was gonna appreciate in value. It soon hit $100, then $150, $200, and so on. Today, the boxes are selling for around $400 on eBay. So here's eBay right now, and sure enough, they are selling for around $400. If I could go back in time and save a few boxes of this, I definitely would have. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. So there's definitely a lot of similarities between the two sets. Currently, you can pick up V-Star Universe for around $85 or $90. This is actually our website here, and we've actually been sold out for a little while. It's been super hard to keep this in stock. I've already seen a pretty significant increase in price. These boxes were going for like $60 or $70 not that long ago. So they're already on the way up, so you might want to pick these boxes up before it's too late. Real quick, we're going to be giving away a Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer box to one lucky subscriber. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to our channel with notifications on, and comment down below a Pokemon product that you think is a good investment right now. All right, back to the video. All right, so next up on our list is going to be the Arceus V figure collection. I'm actually a really big fan of all figure collections because Pokemon tends to print a lot less of these. It's a lot more difficult to make a figure than, say, a jumbo card or something like that. And that definitely was the case with this box. We didn't have many of these at all. So not only is this a great box, you get that awesome alternate art Arceus V promo. You do get the figure as well, of course but this box also comes with a Cosmic Eclipse booster pack. These boxes are already getting super tough to find, and you can see on the year graph here, they've been increasing in value already. I want to say the MSRP on this was around like $30 when it first came out, and they're already hovering around $40 in a short amount of time, so this is actually a pretty recent box. Let's actually take a look at some other figure collections in the past to see how they've done over time. So this was one of the first ones that came to mind because this box was pretty common back in the day. This box currently sold for auction over $80, plus $18 shipping, so really the buyer paid over $100 for this box. There really wasn't anything special with this box, either. I mean, the packs are kind of subpar, but this box was super iconic because it was Mega Gyarados. Everyone did love Mega Gyarados for sure. It's got that cool promo, the cool figure as well. So this is a really cool box. Here's another one, and this one was actually super recent. As you can see right in the front, it's a Sword and Shield collection box here. It had a figure of all three of the Galarian starters, as well as that awesome Pikachu promo. Looks like the packs in this were two Rebel Clash, a Cosmic Eclipse, and then a Guardians Rising. So again, other than the Cosmic Eclipse, the packs are really nothing to brag about, but figure collections just don't get printed that much, and the value tends to rise a lot over time. All right, next up on the list, believe it or not, is actually going to be the Charizard UPC. I actually have a few reasons why this product is probably a really good buy right now. In fact, I did an entire video on this recently. Definitely check that out because the value in the box was pretty surprising. So we're coming up on the second set of the Scarlet and Violet era. Everything in the Sword and Shield era is starting to just get older and older. This box has 16 booster packs from the Sword and Shield era on top of, of course, you already know about the Charizard alternate art cards. This box has a few sets from all the way back from Evolving Skies all the way through Lost Origin. So it has a really nice pack selection, just a ton of really cool stuff in this product. Even though Pokemon did print just a ton of this, Ultra Premium Collections still do well over time. The only one that really failed was the Zacian and Zamazenta Ultra Premium Collection. Zacian and Zamazenta just really weren't that well received for the legendaries of the Sword and Shield era, but Charizard has held the number one spot for the most favorite Pokemon just in general for a very long time. In fact, this article from 2022 says that Charizard actually had the most searches out of any other Pokemon. Kind of surprising to see that Pikachu isn't even on this top 10 list, but again, with how popular Charizard is, you get three of those alternate art promos you get 16 packs, and the box is still going for around $95. So at this point, I don't think Pokemon is going to print any more of this box. The value of the contents inside are just going to get more and more valuable as Sword and Shield continues to age. All right, this next one is really interesting because the set actually did not receive a reprint. This box was on its way to $200, but then all of a sudden around January, a lot of product actually hit the market. I was told by distributors that this was actually not a reprint, but Pokemon actually dumping a lot of product back to distributors. So that actually created a really good opportunity to get in for a low price on this booster box. Brilliant Stars was considered by many people to be the second best set of the entire Sword and Shield era. For me, it's really close to Lost Origin for the number two spot, but Brilliant Stars has the Arceus alternate art, the Charizard, of course, so it is a fantastic set. You also have the Trainer Gallery, which includes the Evolutions. so this set has a ton of things going on for it. Again, there's really been no confirmation of any sort of reprints going back to the Sword and Shield era, so with that in mind, picking up Brilliant Stars for basically what the old MSRP used to be is probably a really good investment going into the Scarlet and Violet era. I would imagine that the sets that include the Trainer Gallery are going to be 
super sought after just like the tag team sets were in Sun and Moon. Once tag teams were introduced, there was so much more popularity for Pokemon cards. The same thing kind of happened with the trainer gallery. Having that second opportunity in every booster pack to pull something cool was really awesome for the card game. So really there's an argument to say that any of the trainer gallery sets plus maybe Evolving Skies are going to be a really good investment. Speaking of Evolving Skies, I really think the Evolving Skies Elite trainer boxes are probably going to be a great pickup. ETBs actually tend to have a better percentage increase in value than booster boxes. I'll show you some examples of that in a minute, but Evolving Skies was such a great set. These Elite trainer boxes are probably one of the best looking ones of the entire Sword and Shield era. They're currently going for around $75 each. They actually were reprinted, it looks like around August of 22, and you can see the price just shot right back up to where they were before the reprint. That alone shows how much demand there are for these Elite trainer boxes. You might can still find some of these out in the wild for like $40 or $50, but if you just absolutely have to have one of these ETB, $75 is not a bad price. So here's a really good example of the Elite trainer boxes just absolutely skyrocketing. This ETB was considered one of the worst ETBs probably ever made by Pokemon. And this isn't just a fluke that they're going for around $160 to $200 right now. They've actually been increasing for the past year. There was a time where you couldn't walk into a Walmart without seeing a Rebel Clash ETB on sale. So it just goes to show that people really do love to collect ETBs, and for good reason, because they make a really good piece for your collection. So if it's like a popular set and the ETB looks really good, there's going to be a ton of demand for that. Here's another one, and really you can just pick almost any ETB from the Sun and Moon era. They're all really expensive now. This Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer Box is almost $400. Here's another one that's almost $400, the Unbroken Bonds Elite Trainer Box. It looks like somebody actually just bought these out and they're trying to sell it for $2,000. Don't, don't buy that. Team up, of course, probably over $400 right now. So really just ETBs do so well over time. All right, so now we're actually going to talk about a very recent product. As I talked about in the beginning of this video, figure collections do really well over time. Pokemon just recently released the Crown Zenith, Shiny Zation, and Zamazenta figure collections. Believe it or not, these are actually the most cost-effective product that Crown Zenith offers. You get 11 packs in this box, plus the figure collection, the pin, and the promo. And this box is actually around the same price as the ETB that comes with a lot less. Now, the ETB will probably do well over time. However, we don't know yet if Pokemon is going to reprint anything from Crown Zenith. And typically with special set reprints, they actually go back and reprint the ETBs. This is likely going to be the only print run that we see of these figure collections. And again, figure collections just get a smaller print run in general. So I already think this is the absolute best Crown Zenith product you can buy right now. And typically the best time to buy a product is when there's the most amount available. When there's a lot on the market, the prices tend to decrease. And as you can see here, you can actually still buy these for under MSRP. So not only does the box itself look great for a sealed collection, everything that you get in this box has just so much value and I think these are going to do really well over time. All right, and last on our list today is actually going to be the Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer Box. I know these haven't quite released yet, but Pokemon has changed so many things with their Elite Trainer Boxes, I think these are going to be absolutely insane. I was hoping by the time that I was recording this that these would still be in stock, but they've actually already sold out, which is unfortunate. But the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box actually comes with a special exclusive promo now. So the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box is going to have this Pikachu promo and it's going to have the exclusive Pokemon Center stamp. This Pikachu promo is very similar to the Pikachu Pikachu promo that we saw earlier in today's video in that figure collection. It features Pikachu with all three of the new Paldean starters. We've talked about the Japanese version of this card plenty of times on this channel. The Japanese version of this card actually came from the Scarlet and Violet game in Japan. They have exclusive stamps of Scarlet and Violet on the card itself, which is really cool. If you're still able to pick up the Pokemon Center version of the Elite Trainer Box, definitely try to do that. However, if you're not able to get one of those, the retail version actually still will come with the Pikachu promo, just won't have the stamp on it. But on release, these ETBs are going to be going anywhere from $40 to $45. It's another fantastic looking ETB. It kind of reminds me of the Evolving Sky Elite Trainer Box as well. And the fact that it comes with this super cool Pikachu promo card is going to make it super valuable in the future. And as we just talked about, the best time to buy a Pokemon product is when there's the most amount on the market. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching all the way into the end. Hopefully you found this information helpful. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications on. That way you know exactly when our next video is uploaded. Also, if you want to help support the channel, definitely check out PokeCollect.com. All purchases directly help the channel and our store. And you can always find some great deals on any sort of Pokemon card related product. So it's a win win. And with that, we'll see you next time.